who's also had his moments, but the world champion, despite operating with lower than normal percentages, is 3-1 ahead. Neil and Stephen alongside me, I say attritional, there was some good stuff in there, but Judd Trump has had to work pretty hard to get that lead. Yeah, he's had to be patient. Um, it's not the final, not the, the performance I was expecting from Judd today, but it's partly due to his opponent, who's, who's scrapping um, the frames. Um, should have won the first frame, as we'll see. Um, and it's, you know, at, at the end, we're going to see a couple of shots at the, at the end of the piece that um, he's got to Judd a wee bit. I guess mm. Jan has played in the manner that we expected him to, Neil. Well, yeah, I mean, I think we have to forget his age a little bit because he is 20, you know, he should be, you feel like you, you kind of know how he should be playing at that age. A brand of snooker should be very attacking. He can attack, but he can be a patient. He doesn't rush around the table. He's a very difficult opponent. We've been saying it all week, and it's been proved again here that, I mean, but for this, as Stephen said, really, it, you know, he should be 2-2. It's always that ball after the, the frame ball is yeah, that you need to pop. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you, you save yourself 10, 15 minutes of, of torture, really. Um, <laughs> this is a very clever shot, Jeff Trump, to get the snooker. And um, if one, if, I, if there's one week, I've noticed this week, um, Jan Bingtao, his knowledge of the angles isn't great. Uh, he, earlier on, he needed, uh, Kyron Wilson needed two sneakers, got them. Um, I can't remember the other match, somebody at Snooker got them. He's, he's not the best at getting out of Snookers. And no, they hurt those frames, didn't they? Mm. This was a good way to finish it though, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, yes, uh, he landed so awkward there in that blue Judd Trump. And, but again, shots that not many people have got in their armoury, he has. It's amazing to think you can finish that awkwardly on a blue, pink and black on this spot as he did. It's the one mm. spot where it just is in between. But anyway, won the frame which must have set Jan back. Mm. Judd, I mean, I think he... There was more to that than it looked. It looked reckless, but actually he was trying to get back up the table. But it was always going to be tough to play any shot that was going to keep Jan out from there, I think. I have to say, he showed great temperament, Jan. The way he lost the first frame, a lot of players would have taken him two or three frames to get over that. But he came back in the second frame, he still looked focused. This was a, just a poor, poor shot. The cue ball should be nowhere near the right-hand side of the Reds coming down the table. Um, so you can say, OK, he's unlucky, but it's, it's not bad luck for me. It's a bad, bad shot. It could have, it could have gone against him. Mm. I mean, he could have lost that frame too, and I think I'd have feared the worst had he lost mm. that frame from a ridiculous position. So he has got to brush up on certain things like that, you know. But, you know, here we see Trump just getting going. It was a nice break, this. It was a good mm. opening red, wasn't it? And now you think he's going to get on top. Um, didn't quite work that way, but it was a good break, this. Yeah, every time. This shot was great. Yeah, this, I mean, this is an, an, an incredible shot, really. It's a blind pocket to control the cue ball um, for the pink. So this, this is what he needed, um, you know, a, a score and visit. Because there's not been that many times where the, the frames have been orthodox, you know, with the black on the spot, the pink on the spot, everything available. Good, this is frame ball, this, and, and played it confidently. And that was the one frame that was played with 12 minutes, really quick frame. Yeah. This. You can see frustration. This plant, with well, good luck, he's a great player, but if he gets that, as I think Alan said, he'd be there yeah. all, about a month trying to pot it or something like that. Yeah, there's a couple right. of shots where boats were being pushed. Um, yeah. It was, yeah, just that this shot, and we're going to see the double as well. And I mean, okay, the Reds, other Reds are safe, you might not be leaving anything on, but that was, to me, that was a sign that the way the game was being played out was getting to him a little bit. But then it produces what Judd produces, you know, that black with the extreme right hand side to get on the red. Yeah, I, th I feel that um, what we're seeing here is, is interesting because in the fourth frame there was a lot of frustration being shown there, which Judd has overcome, which other players we haven't mm. done. I mean, um, you know, last night, Jan Bingtel did, did a real job on, on uh, uh, Sean, Murphy. Sean Murphy, you know, and, and there was a moment or two today when you thought it could happen again, but right now Judd is a little bit more dangerous than all the others, you know. I think when we were watching it, we were remarking that he has that ability to suck players into his style mm. and therefore has the advantage over players who are normally quite fluent. Uh, but at the moment, he's not been able to do that against Judd Trump. We'll take a break, but when...